Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Gwent. So, uh, quick little notice, uh, I am actually recording this after the newest patch has gone through, so there have been a few nerfs changes and things like that to certain cards. Uh, only one change has been made to the Queen's Guard deck in this particular case. Marigold's Hailstorm now no longer hits gold cards, but I still think it might pretty much be okay anyway to keep playing with it. We're going to keep it in there, we're going to test it out, we're going to see how it does in the meta game anyway. Without further ado, let's get into the games. See you there. Mahakam wasn't built in a day. Sit at my table and let's drink. Alright, so we're up against Bruva Hoog. Interesting. Alright, well, this hand does need a little bit of shaping. We're going to get rid of the skirmishes. It's a good discard spot. Ragnarug, pretty good. Could get us an early pass. We'll get rid of a shieldsmith, get a donar. If I go any further with blacklisting, I might actually draw into a pirate, which we don't want. So, I think I'm just going to take this hand and hope that it's good enough. See how our opponent leads off. Are they going to be dwarves? They're going to be lots of things, really, to be honest. Slaughter them to a man. Okay. Seven point Vrahid Dragoon. So if we went for the thunder, he could pass and take a card from us, but that's completely fine with me. Let's get those boosts away from him. I'm sure he wants that. If he was leading off with it, it's probably quite important. If he does pass, then we've got King Bran to do some discarding. It's not the end of the world. Or even the pirate captains. Uh, the pirates to just discard as well. I doubt he passes here though. Oh. Alright, so that's a interesting choice. It's probably a moron. So we're gonna go with our pirates because it doesn't die to pass, it. You gotta pay. Yep. Can't let you through elsewhere. If we'd have gone with anything else, really, it would have probably killed whatever we played, and then therefore its ability wouldn't resolve. So we need to make sure that we've got that out there. Ah, they used to tire my tongue about that. Moves his dude, pumps it up. Okay. Fair play. It's on 17 points now, though. Which means we've got some work to do. I think we go with the discard, though. Let's go with our King Bran. Me! Or me! <laughs> discard, Queen's Guard, Queen's Guard, Ceres. Ison Grim goes to grab an ambush card, so that's to Rubio. We can lock that and take a Dragoon, I suppose. Well, we'll wait until he passes, because he might pass with Teruvial in mind. And then we'll lock it. So, let's just go with... Hmm. Should we go with that Queen's Guard? So we can start pumping them with the Shieldsmiths. Yeah, I don't really see a better play just yet. Panzer. Get Sarah's ticking as well. Coexistence. No mm. such thing. Interesting. This goes with a Yevin. Usually I like to kill the Yevin after you pass to take the round, which we're not going to uh, allow that to happen. We're going to keep playing. Since the most crowd. of the stuff that we're Come doing on. anyway yeah. is going to be investing in the future turn. Never had your kneecaps broken. Okay. Elven blarney. 
Hits the Yaven, strengthens the Skirmisher. Hmm. Coral doesn't hit ambush units, right? This isn't a, technically a unit at the moment. I think that's how that works. I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's go with our shield smith again, I suppose. So what? Should I pound it? Oh, on the smallest one. Okay, power technicians suck. I don't think we Ragnarug is he's stacking that back row too much to care. It would put us ahead though. But then we still have to play down Dona in order to lock his dude. Got anything in our graveyard? Just pirates. Ugh. So it's whether or not I even want to lock this, then if we're just going to lose. Tell you what, we will Ragnarok. We'll see if he uh, passes here. Alza's Thunder gives us a target for our Priestess of Freya, so it allows us to keep going a little bit Modern longer. Freya is patient, but she brooks no insult. Boost you. You a bit of armor. Hit you for four. And now he goes with the clear skies. She's also been buffed. You get a, a nice little boost. For clearing the skies now. All right, let's do now. Uh, Calm yourselves. Yuteruvial. And we will take your dragoon. Does he keep playing? We'll play players in Ikea. Oh, Ted Dayred is nigh. So we can make him go down on cards to take the round. We're saving the Sig Drifter to bring back our Queen's Guard. We've got that play that's probably going to be a lot more powerful than theirs. So I mean we're using a Coral on something less than ideal. Essentially. And hoping that the two cards don't get ahead of them. So it'd be a 11 point play. So can he make up 11 points with his two cards? I think he can. So we're going to pass. I reckon Coral can be useful later. Ooh. He's actually going to draw the round. And try to beat what we've got. Final round. Here we go. Priestesses. Give us a boost. That gives us a blood curdling roar. I accept this hand. Okay, so we can get back Dona to lock something with Sigdrifer, so we don't want to pull just yet on that one. We get our Ceres back on a res, which is pretty good. Uh, I think we do go for our Queen's Guard now then. I think that's probably the best option we have available. Because then we can Blood Curdling Raw, the Priestess of Freya. See, Drifa can then buff something up if we want to. Yeah. Bow before modern Freya. You're Do that. good. Real good. Ceres comes back. Just careful there. We do have a horrible Gigni Night setup here, but. And okay. It's with an Alza's Thunder, 14 points. We can bring all that back though. So we'll wait on that. We'll go with our Gremist. Ah, not you again! The blood curdling roar. Turn that into an eleven strength unit. Bruva goes to grab. Four options. Barkley Elves gets a paratechnician. 
thus punishing the little setup we have. All right, well, if we go with Sigdrifa, pull back 14 points with the Queen's Guard. Don't think we can do any better than that. Yeah. The goddess protect you from all evil. Back come the Queen's Guard. <laughs> Here's hoping that this is going to be enough. We've got a coral to take some points away. Barclay Elves. Uh, I've got to get this stinking mess in order. It's a skirmisher. We will then coral your <laughs> skirmisher <laughs> for the most points possible. And we see if he can make up the points with his final card. You'll be fine. Oh, it's going to be a draw. Oh, no, it's not. He loses because she gets weakened for hitting one of our units, doesn't she? Or does she not? Cunning play. Oh, she not anymore. I thought she did. Well, it's a draw. So that's the thing. You don't see them very often. GG. Close ranks. <laughs> of course, friend. All right. So up against Fall Test. Blacklist our pirates. We get ourselves a Queen's Guard. Very nice. We need to make sure to not draw another Queen's Guard, though. Uh, Alza's Thunder could possibly be quite useful to us. We'll keep those around. Shieldsmiths. I do like all three, though. We'll get rid of a, a Thunder. We get a Donar. It's too much risk of another Queen's Guard, so I'm going to keep this hand. It's not ideal. There's a fair few things in here that I don't want. But they'll do for now. Our opponent's on the play. Hmm. What you doing? Villain, hello. You're not restricted to uh, non-gold units, are you? Nope, you are not in the slightest. Okay, well, that is not even slightly scary, then. Good to know. Let's uh, let's go with King Bran, then. Set at my table, and let's drink. Continue as we were. Queen's Guard, Ceres, Queen's Guard. That ticks down. It's gonna get such a locking. Simplify. So as well, blue stripes commander. Oh dear. Start of your turn. Okay, so we can res our dudes, but then we're gonna have to don our the turn after. That should be fine. Yeah. Unless we just want to allow him to take, like, seven points from us. With the skirmishers. Well, we're going with our Queen's Guard anyway. Can't see. I'm just wondering whether or not Donar's going to be more useful later down the line, but I think this is probably as good a target as any, really. And it's something that we can get back with Sidrifer as well, if we need it. So yeah, now we'll lock Villain. And then it will essentially just be an eight point gold. It's probably why nobody plays it. These days, anyway. Hmm. Surprised he hasn't played all of his fault tests yet. Uh, I usually just see this as a straight up play. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That's interesting. All right. Well, Dona gives us eight points, which uh, is something that we have to do, unless we want whatever we play to die. So we can't kill villain. 
What happens if he was to unlock him? Hmm. Well, let's see for it. Locked. Ha! Sure. Okay. Let's just go with one of our shield smiths then, because that only takes these guys up to seven, which means Donard dies. We get to reuse him with Sigdrifer if we want to. A billion barrels of burn, bitch. And we stay ahead. Close now right. Fault Test comes out. Boop. Sure. Sure. Okay, well, let's go with the Shieldsmith. Billion barrels of burn, bitch. On our little one. Well, has anything changed? Don't think so. Let's go with the shield smith. For what? And stick some armor on you. Still playing. We are getting quite far behind. But as is usually the case, it's not as though anything that we're really putting on the board doesn't come back later in some form or another. I'm just gonna go with the pirates. You wanna pass, you gotta pay. Can't let you through elseways. The north, to marry. Nice mess you've got here. Hmm. So really at this stage all we're doing is bleeding extra cards out of him. But at this point, I think we're too far behind to even test him. Because if I play a card down, he's just going to pass. I'm pretty sure he's going to pass anyway. And then he'll do a dry pass. And then we'll play, at this stage, probably our skirmishers. So they can get pumped later. Yeah, we'll pass. And then it's going to be a long final round. So hopefully we get something like... Ragnarug for the final round, if that ends up being the case. He might still actually just go for a round two play, who knows. Hailstorm, okay. And more res. That works for me. I'm gonna get rid of the thunder. We got a Ragnarug. Alright. Does he just pass? He does. Okay. So we could priestess. If we priestessed, nothing would really be added to the final round. So we'll skirmish us. Nothing like some overseas plundering in springtime. That adds something to our final round potential. So we get three extra points if we choose to res him. And we got three reses. Oh, now we got four reses. So that's the thing. Yeah, I'll take these reses. That sounds good to me. Alright, so. We've got four reses. One for the skirmishers. Two for the queen's guard. Three for probably Dona. And four for a shieldsmith. We've got Ceres coming back. Hopefully he doesn't have death mold, because then Ragnarug will do some serious damage. He doesn't have any graveyard interaction, does he? No. Bow before modern Freya. So let's just go with. Let's lead off with the least valuable player, I suppose. Here. Keep as much off the board as possible for the time being. If 
Biting Frost. So, I mean, we could go for a Ragnarok, but it adds nothing to the board, could be cleared for a zero point gold, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go with a Priestess. We're going to have to Queen's Martin Guard. Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Because this You're one's going to be the Shieldsmith. Real and ready. Ah! Didn't want you on the melee row. Finally. Ooh, only got one light cavalry <laughs> there. And he had one in hand. That's a good sign. This is a very good sign. Okay, so Shieldsmith is one res target, guaranteed by this stage, unless we want... Well, we're not even adding points with the pirate, because this is effectively 9 points from its ability. Donar doesn't have a target just yet, so Sigdrifa might be going to get some more strengthening anyway. Um... Yeah. Bow before modern Freya. Shieldsmith. So what? On the little one. So it gets hit. The frost gets <laughs> hit on the armor. He actually had all the light cavalry in his hand. That really must suck for our opponent. Well, I'm just gonna drop Ragnarug at this point. Maybe encourage him to keep on going for the range row, which makes our hailstorm a little better. Still makes our hailstorm better. Okay, so Donar doesn't do anything, so we'll go for the points with the Shieldsmith. Sigdrifa. Shieldsmith. On the Queen's Guard. Buffers from that Frost. He does have protection from it himself, of Ragnarok from it himself. But we've got Hailstorm, which is still very good in this current situation. 14 to 57. No way you can get that in one card. Yeah. Alright. Worked out quite nicely. He, um... Yeah, his hand was absolute turbo gash, to be perfectly honest. So, you know. I feel like he had some really bad mulligans there. There's not really much we can do about that, though. That is just what it is. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for today. So, I hope you have enjoyed... And if you have, then be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon. Actually, before we go, let's open a keg. Let's go to the old shop. Open up some kegs. Boop. Because we got the ore. We got the ore. We might as well. Let's see what we get. Nothing really there. And more bronze is nothing here as well. Um, I kind of want to play Warren with Deathwish, even though he's a terrible archetype, apparently. But I might want to just... Okay. Yeah, why not? Get one of each. I'll just buy whatever I need otherwise. Alright, guys. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. And I do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.